Hello and welcome to a new video about pneumatics. Last time we talked about throttle valves and throttle jack valves. Huh? This time we want to take a closer look on how we, go, we can use them. Okay. Let's say we have, a, we have a double acting cylinder. Something like this, double acting cylinder. And we are controlling this double acting cylinder like usual in pneumatics with a five two-way valve okay. so there's the way valve five connections here would be the, the pressure source so here we have one this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. Yeah. This is connected to here, this is connected to here. Yeah. And here, I don't know, spring, push button. Let's make simpler push button. What we want to do is simply to, to slow down, slow down this. We want to select how fast this is moving. Yeah? We could simply do it like that. We are using the throttle check valve. Yeah? So we are using here the throttle check valve. And whatever is going inside there, we are throttling. Yeah? We can adjust this. Yeah? Now what is going inside and what is coming out, we simply say it shall pass as fast as possible. Okay, so we are throttling the air which is going inside, and here on the other side we do it pretty similar. Yeah, so here we are also throttling. Here's the valve, and also here we are let the valve the the air go out pretty easy. Okay, this would be one possibility. The air which is going inside is now throttled yeah, and will stream in slowly. The air which is coming out will simply open this check valve here and can be exhausted. Here this is missing. One possibility. Here the air which is going to the cylinder is somehow limited. Okay. Another possibility, I also show you, pretty much the same situation, so the control element is the same, the working element is the same, everything's the same. But this time, yeah, this time we let we let it pass. We are also throttling it here. Yeah. Also adjustable. Yeah. But this time we are throttling the air which is going out, which is coming out of the cylinder. So, if we are filling the cylinder, we will open this check valve and can fill it pretty fast. Yeah? And here we are doing exactly the same. We are throttling the air and are also blocking the air which is coming out. Yeah? So, this means if we push in here air pretty fast, the air on this side can only exhaust via this throttle via this throttle, and so I can also adjust the speed. So both ways are theoretically possible. Is there an advantage in one of those ways? I can tell you, yes, there is. And I explain you why. The thing is that there is friction. 
Well, of course, there's friction. There are ceilings inside and so on. There's pretty, there's pretty much friction. And if we have friction, then if there is no movement, the friction is usually high. And if then, then there is movement, the friction drops to a lower level. Uh, because if we are already in movement, I only have part of the friction left. Uh, and this exactly is causing to be a problem, especially in this case. Yeah? Since air is a, is a material or a gas which can be, can be, uh, can be compressed, yeah? the following will happen. Here, air is streaming in quite slowly. We are rising up pressure here. Yeah? At some point in time, this pressure here is high enough to get past the, the friction. Yeah? And suddenly the friction is dropping because it's now moving. Yeah? Now it's moving, now the air can expand and has still enough force to move this. Yeah? But at some point in time the air has expanded that much that there is no longer enough force to move this. And we are dropping back to the sticky friction. Okay? And now, again, air has to stream in a little bit yeah, to rise the pressure again there, and then we will move again. So we will end up in a movement which we go in steps, small steps, yeah, pack, 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 yeah. Step slick effect. Yeah. We will see this in this. Yeah. Here on this side, the pressure on this side, this is directly connected to the, to the pressure. Yeah? And only the pressure on this side, yeah? this, is, this is slowed down. So we will build up here pressure, yeah? and this is moved. Yeah? And since the air is going in pretty fast, if this once is moved, yeah, it will keep on moving and pressing this, this, this air on the other side out. There is no issue with this deep slick effect. Yeah? If we have very small movement speeds and so on, we will see this in pneumatics you simply see it. It's, it's, you know, it's not moving smooth, it is moving uh, always a little bit fast and slower simply because air is compressible. But by having this solution, yeah, this would cause this effect dramatically. Yeah? So the usual way is to, to, to slow down the air when it's leaving. Yeah? This here is called Zuluftdrosselung, this here is called Abluftdrosselung in German. I will write the English terms, yeah? I don't know them by the top of my head now. Yeah? But this is the preferable one. Yeah? This is the preferable solution to slow down the air which is the exhaust air. Because then the steep slick effect is simply reduced. Yeah, so that's that's steep slick effect and throttling. Yeah. Next time uh, we are talking about pressure valve, uh, pressure switching valve. How this is working, we are going to see then. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.